Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. And sorry about that little turnaround with the phone. I had to uh, tighten it, tighten my tripod stand so I could shoot this video. But it's time for another Eddie Hill review from the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's review time people and today we'll be reviewing some random figures and one noise making item we're going to start with the little random figures and work our way up to the brand new stuff first we got little anna from frozen and this little tiny figure of her i just love anything action figure wise that's why i picked her up from the outlet we got the Beast from the new Beauty and the Beast. You know what I mean? Why not? But he's missing his horns, as you can see. Real shame, really. But hey, he doesn't have to have horns all the time. He could be the hornless beast. Next, we got this with a Lego movie I just bought. And this is Lego DC, the trickster. And yeah, he rips off Joker's ploy all the time. Joker would be like, I'm going to punch you in the face, trickster, for stealing my act. <laughs> Next on the list in the old school stuff, we got this from Harry Potter working. It's supposed to be working. Got it working. Come on. Working just fine. Now it's working. Now it's working. And that's some of the noise making it does to the other side. Oh, this is just so cool. I got one that actually acts like it works, huh? Real magic almost. Come on. Let's make more sounds than that. I think the batteries might be dead, but it makes noise. First and foremost, it's a noise-making wand. I think the batteries died on me. Oh, real shame. You're not going to hit the hear the whole thing, huh? But otherwise, it makes noise really well for what it is, and I love it. Next on the list, we got this good old bell from Beauty and the Beast doll. I got this on clearance. For five bucks compared to what it says on the box and this is a Beauty and the Beast doll articulation is uh, pretty good but not much they could have done more with the ankles giving her ankles and elbow articulation but the head head doesn't have an articulation which is a real shame for this but otherwise not a bad figure for a clearance item and she's actually pretty adorable looking for what I got her for. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. I'm building up a Disney collection. Next on the list, we got Marvel Infinity Wars War Machine. I broke the head on my War Machine and had to have it glued, super glued to the head. Otherwise, the rest of it can move fine. Kick out that far, can't kick back. Arms have elbows, but it's a tight elbow, so you got to be real careful with this figure. Same with this one. 
But if you move his arm, you can have him hold this gun with dual wielding, which I will show off if I can get it to work with me here. And he can dual wield this Gatling gun and be like, take this, Thanos. <sighs> My Gatling gun noise. And he can go blasting a bunch, bunch of Thanos. And be like, oh no, he's got a Gatling gun. <sighs> and blow up things away. But now we're going to look at his package in. This is some nice artwork of War Machine himself. You put the put this stone in here, Infinity Stone, and it makes and it doesn't do anything. So I have quite a few of them. I got this figure along with three others, including Iron Man and iron spider so i just need drax and black widow i guess and thor to complete this figure line well this is an awesome figure line for sure and i got these figures for six bucks and they were 75 percent off so it was probably more like five bucks so yeah definitely worth the money to get these at ollie's for that much Next on the list, we got G.I. Joe Scarlet from G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie. Snake Eyes. And these figures were six bucks. And they were 25% off, so I got them for at least four bucks. Got this one for four bucks. And we got G.I. Joe Scarlet. I don't have a Scarlet in my Joe collection. But I do now. And this figure looks awesome. And these weapons come apart from the main gun and give Scarlet some different weapons. Like these knives. You can give them to her as combat knives. And she can go slashy slashy at some Cobras. Why not? If I can get her to hold both of these. They are a bit tight to put in her hands, but... Now you go slash, 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 slash. Next, she gets this bow and arrow that comes off the, the bow that comes off her gun. And she can pull some arrows at some cobra and be like, take this cobra. Arrow straight in the head, cobra. And you're dead as a doorknob. But I like putting them together, making her main crossbow gun. I'm just liking that a lot more than the single weapons mode. And these are good looking figures. I'd have to say for a six buck figure, this was pretty good priced for this figure. And I got it for four bucks, I think, which is pretty cool. And she's definitely going on my shelf with her crossbow. Is a G.I. Joe Snake Eye Scarlet worth adding to your G.I. Joe collection? Yes. If you don't have a Scarlet on your collection like I don't, this figure was worth the money. And it's been a while since I've done a brand new G.I. Joe. So I'm glad to have one to review. And if you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out, you